Hey folks, welcome back to another episode. So today I got me a, uh, another dash cam. Yes, another one. So there's a bunch of different models and everything about these dash cams. And so I just want to try them all out. Anyway, this is my third, maybe fourth dash cam. And yeah, this one is totally different once again. Uh, there's something special about this one, but I'm going to get into the unboxing first and then we'll talk about it. All right. So anyway, this company right here sent this to me. And I want to thank them for doing that because uh, I really love these things. I think they're, they're the coolest. So yeah, so this one is a uh, 4K camera once again. Uh, usually most camera that you get should be about 4K now, I would say. Um, because just because the sensor size is there. But what they save money on is the back camera. And so front camera is usually 4K and then the back camera is usually um, 1080p. So it's the same case with this camera right here. Alrighty. So these dash cams is uh, a, it's, it's kind of a must have these days in my opinion, because guys, uh, that, that's why they call them car accident, right? And so that's why you, you should have one, one of these just so that you can record um, what happened so that you can show to the police and when they write up the police report, because back in the days when I got into an accident, yeah, I wish I had one of these. Anyhow, um, this is it right here. It does come with a, wow, a memory card? Nice, a 64 gig memory card, I might add. That's crazy. How do they do 64 gig? Usually, you know, they, they, throw, out, <laughs> they throw out 32 gigs. Um, so here is the back camera that you see right here. Beautiful front camera. Look at this. I mean, this, this thing is, it's orange. <laughs> People are going to be afraid of you on this one. <laughs> you have this uh, because, because they're definitely going to see this in front. There's a few different models out there. One is that uh, one where it just records the front and you know you can put it on your visor, uh, your mirror, uh, your rear view mirror. So there's those kind and there's one where you just stick it on your glass and it records the front and then you got a wire that goes all the way to the back of the car and it records. Well, this one right here, it requires no wires. It's just literally uh, integrated in with your camera. So it's all in one piece and you can, I believe you can twist and turn this. Yes, you can. See this? So, so you can turn this. Um, at the same time, this front one right here, obviously, in order to get uh, the adjustment just right, do that as well. Okay, so other than that, I don't know anything else about this camera. Um, let me see here. So it looks like there's this thing is for power right here. It uses the, uh, what is this? Is this micro USB still? Or is it just USB? I don't know. Anyhow, um, looks like there is a plug for a rear camera. Hmm, interesting. There's a mic right here and there's a, there's a reset button right there. Very nice. And if you look at the camera itself, all around you see like these grills. Look at this. Um, so what happens is that, guys, this thing is going to be in your car, right? Guess, what's, uh, get, guess what? Um, I mean, in some states where the car can get up to like 150 degree when you park your car, this thing's got to survive. And so I think that's the biggest challenge for these makers is to try to what do they do about like super hot temperature, right? Because also it's recording 4K, so obviously this thing is going to get hot as well. I don't know. Um, pretty interesting in the tech in these. Okay, so you got yourself a bunch of mount point. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this is the power wire right here where you're going to route everything. Very nice. Okay, and these are what you're gonna use to kind of uh, tuck all your wires in and keep it nice and organized. And then this is what you use to mount on your window. Suction cup mount, and then you just attach this thing to it. Kabam, and it stays on there. That's probably what I'm gonna do. It's simple enough. And then there's just a short USB cable here as well. Okay, instruction booklet, huge instruction booklet. I'm going to leave that one alone. But anyhow, uh, let's check out to see what this is first. So I got a bunch of stickies here, and I believe you stick this 
to your windshield as well. What is this? It says release lock. So I see. So this is a, a another mounting option right here. It's pretty tight on there. So literally, uh, w w windshield usually goes like this angle right here or this angle right here and you just like stick that on the windshield, right? And so now the camera stays this way. So that's the super easy option right there. Or you can use this right here, this, the cup, uh, the suction cup. Either way, I think it will work just fine. So this thing looks like it do have a, uh, an internal battery, which is a good thing, by the way. I did not realize I had to read into that, but it looks like this thing is charging the battery as I'm doing this. Um, because you know, when your car is off, right, it's not going to have, have power to this thing. So it's able to, this thing, this camera is able to stay on senses, you know, if they're, if they're movement and things like that and start recording. And so that's, that's a def, uh, definitely a very, very good thing to have. Okay guys. So, um, I have just activated the Wi-Fi on this right here and look at this. It actually showed up on the, my phone right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select that right there and then it asked me to enter the uh, passcode so we can go ahead and do that um, everything is on this little screen right here that you see the passcode and everything and so it looks like right now it's saying that it's connected all right now I'm gonna go back to my app that I download by the way if you don't know where the app is just look in the instruction booklet right here and it's gonna have a QR code in there for you to scan okay so right now it's connected and boom right there it's actually i'm on it right now let me turn it sideways so you guys can see it better so look at this so here it is this is the actual camera right here oh well it's a little blurry because i still haven't taken the sticker off yet so let me go ahead and do that that would be a good idea right okay oh yeah so much clearer now look Look at the image quality on this thing. See that? So here you can see like double whammy, double whammy. So you can see that it's recording, but it's still recording me on the front camera. It's like dual mode right now. And by the way, it is recording, I believe. Yeah. Really nice. So yeah, it was super easy to connect to the Wi-Fi. That's really cool right there. Um, one thing to do with the Wi-Fi obviously is to, you know, save the footage and stuff like that. So that's gonna be really useful when you do get into a car accident, all right? Um, but yeah, other than that, I think this thing will actually twist pretty far out. Honestly, uh, you can actually do like dual, dual front camera if you want, <laughs> which is interesting to me. It's very interesting. But yeah, you can twist that all the way through. All right, guys, so one more thing here. I'm gonna unplug this. Check this out, okay? This right here, you can actually turn it sideways. See that? Very nice. There you go, so it powers off. And then let's say if there's any movement, Oh look, so as soon as I, I move it, it turns on and it, look at that. And it starts recording right away. When I, you know, when it, it detects that there's a car shaking, it, look at that, it turns on and it records right away without any power. So there you go guys, uh, that is the Lamto C500. A pretty small and pretty incredible dual camera dash cam. Very nice. It even comes with a memory card for you. Um, Wi-Fi works great and everything. And right now it's off. I, when I shake it, like there's like motion or something like that, like the car is being hijacked. I don't know. Um, it will turn on and it starts recording. Look, look at that. See that? Boom. It turns on and it starts recording right away. Pretty incredible. All right. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.